Welcome to Mac Related Things. I'm your host, Jim Fair. Well, today, November 10th, Apple finally announced three new Macs using their new uh, Apple Silicon or SOC systems on a chip based on the ARM processor design that they licensed and have been developing for about 10 years. So the new chip is called the M1 or the Apple M1 and it's got uh, eight cores. As I suspected, the performance of these things is going to bring in the low-end Macs, namely the Air, the MacBook Pro 13-inch and the Mac Mini, way ahead of the competition. They say that uh, these machines are faster than 98% of all PCs sold in the year 2020. So <laughs> I don't know how valuable a spec that is. But, um, you know, when compared to the last generation, uh, this thing is, is using way less power and um, generating way more performance, way less heat. All of those good things we talked about in the last video are here. So yeah, we have a 16 core neural engine, up to eight core GPU, eight core CPU, over 16 billion transistors on this new five nanometer process chip. Uh, you can't even call it a chip, it's a system on a chip or an SOC for short, or Apple Silicon for everyone else. Uh, and of course, Secure Enclave is now part of that. So Touch ID and all of the security that allows Apple to make sure that uh, the OS is only going to run on its hardware is all built in. New version of Photoshop coming in 2021. New version of Lightroom compiled for these uh, chips uh, coming this year. So, uh, and you know, it accelerates anything written for metal. So even older Mac games that were written for the metal API are gonna run a lot faster on this hardware. So like, uh, just for example, the MacBook Air, the CPU itself is three and a half times faster than the last version of the MacBook Air, like the, the one that just came out this year. Uh, the graphics is five times faster, up to 18 hours of battery life. Of course, it runs Mac OS Big Sur. That is the only operating system it will run at this point. Although uh, with Parallels, you can run various flavors of Unix or Linux. Uh, machine learning up to nine times faster. Solid state uh, storage twice as fast as the last generation and uh, up to two terabytes of storage. Touch ID, Wi-Fi 6, up to 16 gigs of memory, Thunderbolt slash USB 4 ports. Again, they're, they're sticking with the minimal number of ports, which is annoying, but what can you do? The Air has no fan, but the Mini does, as does the 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro running the new M1 uh, silicon. Uh, also, it's nice to see the Mini still has two USB-A um, ports, HDMI port. No card slot for SD, but you've got two of those Thunderbolt slash USB 4 plus an Ethernet jack. And your trusty headphone jack is still there on the Mini. So that's good. Yeah, Mini up to three times faster than the previous generation, up to six times faster graphics. <laughs> and uh, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, um, the pricing is still, is even better. Up to 20 hours of battery life, 2.8 times faster CPU, up to five times faster graphics, 11 times faster machine learning has an active cooling system. That means there, are, there is a fan or two, but they're very, very quiet. Uh, they claim studio quality microphones, whatever that means, uh, which is interesting. To improve the sound when you're, um, you know, in a Zoom call or FaceTime. <laughs> and they've improved the, uh, 
the cameras not so much by the hardware but by the software so their advanced camera software is built in they call it ISP which is kind of funny because that acronym is already used for internet service provider so yeah uh, that is the mini uh, and they had a nice slide about zero waste 100% Recycled aluminum cases, 100% recycled tin. Uh, display glass is free of arsenic. They're up to 60% more energy efficient. So they're uh, trying to uh, get down to zero emissions or whatever, zero environmental footprint. It's going to take them a while to get there. Uh, more recyclable fiber in the packaging. And uh, you, yeah, you can order it today. Available November 12th. Um, and they gave, they gave the hardware to a bunch of folks, including uh, Phineas O'Connell, which is uh, obviously Billie Eilish's uh, brother slash artist, songwriter, and producer. And he was amazed. Uh, a bunch of other folks jumped in there. Oh, and uh, at the very end, they had uh, the PC guy come in uh, trying to pretend he can still go fast. Fast. No sign of the Mac guy. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. To bring back the, uh, that fellow. He's, a, he's actually a comedian. He's quite funny. If you haven't seen those old commercials, you can check it out. They're really funny. Okay, so here in Canada. Okay, so for normal humans, 13-inch MacBook Air with eight gigs of unified memory, 256 gig of solid state storage. You're at 1299. If you want 512 of storage, 1649. And they do take trade-ins for certain uh, Macs. The MacBook Pro 13 inch starts at 1699, 256 of storage, 1949 for 512. And of course you can customize these to some degree. Uh, Mac Mini starts at $899 Canadian and uh, $1149 if you want 512 of storage. So they all standardize with a minimum of 256 of storage, which is good. So it's the beginning of a two-year transition away from Intel processors to Apple's own silicon. And uh, it looks like they're going to really hammer the, uh, the market with this stuff. So not only are they smaller faster lighter they're cheaper <laughs> they're less expensive i mean they're not dirt cheap or anything no mac is dirt cheap and you shouldn't expect it to be but gosh uh, they even support that ridiculously overpriced display they have with the 6k video specs uh, that came out with a new mac pro in 2019 anyway so i uh, just wanted to say wow all i can say is wow Boring from Steve Martin, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, if you don't get the reference. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Um, as I suspected, uh, there's a big speed bump here because of the 5 nanometer process, because they've had this, um, this time, almost 10 years, to work on these processors. These are the processors that run the iPhone and the iPad and the Apple Watch. And uh, they're just getting better, faster, smaller, less heat, more powerful, more parallel, lots of uh, modules in there. Like I have no idea what to be doing with all these uh, machine learning and so forth modules. The, there should be some amazing software coming out of these. Uh, the future for the Mac is uh, looking a lot brighter at this point, especially at the lower end of the market where, you know, you, you tend to have to put up with really terrible video uh, editing capabilities and very laggy. And now that's suddenly going to be way faster. <laughs> so, so it should be a pleasure to use these new machines. I look forward to getting my hands on one of them. So anyway, put your comments down below. Of what, what do you think of Apple's new Mac hardware? Are you going to pre-order one? Do you think Big Sur uh, OS is going to be, the Big Sur version of Mac OS is going to be more stable than the dreaded Catalina? I do. I think it's going to be better. Uh, I already said that in a prior video. 
So I won't go into the details again. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I think it would be great. Great for Apple. Uh, nice to see them, uh, you know, going on all cylinders here. Here at the end of 2020. Anyway, that's all to say today. Thank you for watching Mac-related things. I'm your host, Jim Fair. Fade out.